Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bombs Eye Redemption episode. And you know what? We've got redemption. Yes we do, right off the bat, first cast. Mm -hmm. Buckle up, hang on, I don't know how it's gonna end up, but it's already gonna be a good one. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody. Welcome to Bass and Bombs Eye. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm exactly how we do it. Hello and welcome to the show. It is on today. This is redemption episode. Let's jump down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've got all the baits out here. We have three different styles or sizes of our uh, rattle traps. We've got a couple different worms, one with the rattle. We got a small jig. We've got a couple different chatter baits. I even have spare backup rods sitting here. There is our complete lineup. I'm telling you right now, we have uh, 79, almost 80 degree water temps. It's just now 9 a.m. and it's game on because we are gonna go and catch us some big largemouth bass. I just finished up a topwater video this morning and did real good so make sure and check that one out that was with the first time with the new white whopper plopper the 70 that you know the little short uh, fat one did real good several two pounders anyway go check that video out but today we're gonna get on it I'm hoping that those new rattle traps I picked up will do the trick and work just like the Excalibur did I've also uh, switched up, I guess I should show you that real quick. This is the first time, and I don't know why I haven't tried it till now, because I'm weird like that, I guess. We have the shell cracker with a black and blue uh, Key Tech Crazy Flapper trailer. Oh yeah, game on, right? That's what I was thinking. So we're gonna get out here right now and put it to these largemouth bass. Buckle up, hang on, wish me luck. Let's go. There's a bird flying. We do have cloud cover. So anyway, we're gonna get out here and put it to these largemouth bass. So buckle up, hang on, let's go. Game on. Oh, you guys wanna start right now? Let's just start right here, right now. Cause I'm in the shallows, I finished up the video over here. There we go. We got a bat right off the freaking bat, boys and girls. A nice one. I'm sitting here running my mouth, talking all big, and we, I backed it up. Right there. Look at that bass. Are you kidding me? Woo! Ha <laughs> ha. I was just drifting around over there, rigging up all these poles. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus. Get over here. Get over here, you big monster, you big underfed beast. You need to feed. Woo! That was crazy. I, listen, I know I talk a lot of smack, and that is a very skinny bass, but that was awesome right there. Mwah! That was funny. That is, that should be about a four pound bass. It's lucky if it's gonna weigh three. Right off the bat though, I was, I was like, why haven't I tried this before? First cast, fish. I don't know. Where's my scale? All right, it's zeroed out. Take my word for it. Yeah, this fish is not quite three, 277, 280, whatever. Um, you know me, I round up. That's just how we do it here, get over it. We round up, but I'm gonna call that a three pounder. That fish should weigh four pounds easy. That is a nice bass. All right, one last look. It isn't top water edition, but let's see if this baby is gonna jump for us. Come on, let's do it to it, girl. Yeah. Oh, man, that was so close. We should do a slow-mo on that. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Woo! We are on fire right off the bat. First cast, we're on fire already. I can't believe it. The top water, end of the top water video was like a slow burn. But now we are on fire. We got the wind blowing into here. We got a bait that's working. I haven't even gone to the rattle traps yet because we're still in shallow water. Let's go. Oh, right at the boat. Gee. 
That was right at the boat. He's gonna be on fire. Let's see if he'll jump. You guys think he'll? I know he'll jump. You gotta get him unhooked quick. Oh, he's a jumper. Come on. He is a fired up jumper. I know it. No. Oh my gosh. Non jumping bass. There we go. Finally. Not big, but we got one. We got him in the boat. Hold on. There it is. Shell cracker crack a lacking. Mwah. Get out there. Get out there and tell them I'm coming. All right, guys, I gotta take a quick break. These first few fish have worn me out. I've actually been here a while. It's about 10 o'clock, and I've been here since six, maybe? Making top water video, top water videos. With bananas. And I'm also eating a banana, well, peanut butter banana with dark chocolate, Cliff Bar for energy, Loco Mocha, Java Monster. I know, Cindy, they're bad for me, right? Too bad. And I know, Judy, I should probably be putting sunscreen on and keeping my shirt on. Not gonna happen, Judy. If that sun pops out, shirt's coming off. Eh, not bad. I think I like the mean bean the best out of them. I tried, I bought all the different coffee flavors they had when I was a quick trip uh, yesterday morning. And I will say, any of those coffee things go good with this caramel toffee. This stuff is a pretty good breakfast thing. Or this, or banana, or whatever. Eat whatever you want to eat for breakfast. Bacon. Banana pancakes. My favorite thing in the world, anybody who knows me will probably know for breakfast, is crepes. These bananas are actually good. They haven't got worn out. So anyway, I'm gonna finish my brunch and then it's back to game on. the spot where hopefully this guy kicks in and works like the other caliber. Now I got this other size, there's one next size down, next size up. I might try that. I might try those out also, but I'm gonna try this half ounce, which was working with the Excalibur, and this is the closest color I could find, and it's the Red Eye Shad from Strike King. Now the trick is. We gotta figure out where that grass line is. We wanna reel till we fill the grass, pop it off, and then just kinda try to stay within range of that grass. Starting to get some confidence. It's not big, but we did get a fish. Did not take long on that bait. Now we just need to get a big one today. Nice largemouth bass. Strike King bait. Red eye shad. I forget the name of that color. I'm going to call it the tomato banana. This is a half ounce. I need to slow down because I'm not filling grass. And oh, right at the boat. 
Oh man, it is working, but I think they may be a little further out, a little deeper. Maybe right on top of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow! You son of a dog biscuit. That's how you do the quick release. All right, finally caught something. It's been a long time. Right back up where we left off. I've been all the way around this place since we last caught that bass, and now I have a crappie. Bite is tough, boys and girls. Almost an eater. So, I just need to throw this bait until I get confidence back. That's basically what I need to do. Right? Right. So, if we can stick it out, we might be able to catch a big, big largemouth bass. Or we may just suck the rest of the day. But it's nice weather. It is not really hot. Feels comfortable right now. Let's go hit the windy side again. Let's go try for redemption. All right. Got one finally on something else. It's been a hard day. I'm going to put this... I'm going to put a wraps on today because it has been a struggle. So this is going to be our last fish. Mm. It was a whopper. We finally caught it on our new little bait. I hadn't tried this long. Just started. But the uh, half ounce one caught two like right off the bat and then not another one on it. So I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Started out on fire and then just was a dud after that. I don't know if it's a bananas or not. So, but we did good like right off the bat. I did good in the topwater video. I think it's just the weather. So anyway, you know the deal. Get out of here. Go bass and bonsai for yourself. Share the channel while you're out. Get out of here. Thanks for watching. Seriously, get out of here. You guys want to see one more cast? I think I need a little stouter rod for this bait. But if you keep it coming at you, I think I got grass. All right, final show-stopping bass. And he's not huge, but he's a good bass. And he turned into a skier. He was fighting hard. We had to come over to the shallows. The deep end just is not working because of the, I don't know. I caught them real good on top water. Mm. Then after that, nothing. Go figure. They're all jumpers. Every single cotton picking last one of them. Right? Exactly how we do it. Big large mouth bass. Let's see if it'll jump. That is a beauty. Yeah! Woo! Haven't used this one in a while. I don't know if I've used it at all this year. Well, boys and girls, look at this reel. I was just out here playing around, rigged it up, figured I'd try uh, one of my custom uh, S-crank type baits. Caught a bass pretty quick. Just like that. Bam. <laughs>